So we're back out in the garden. I think last week the starting a wormery video did quite well. So I was quite surprised by it because it felt you know, quite a niche subject matter. But I think there's a lot of hungover people who quite enjoyed a bit of relaxing gardening stuff. So we're back out here again and we're going to discuss what we're going to grow this year. Now I've changed the way I buy seeds and stuff for growing. What I would do in the past is go just go to a garden centre, probably with my kids, and we just pick things we want to grow. But this year I want to go away from just occasionally having something grow to having more sustained stuff throughout the year is my plan, or at least throughout the summer. So I've been a bit, bit smarter about it. What I've done is I've gone online to buy my seeds because I think that's a more sensible way to do it. What I've done in the past is I will just pick something like we're going to grow peas and then I'll plant everything at once in one row. And then you have like two weeks where you have a million peas, far too many peas to eat. And then you have no peas for 50 weeks of the year. So what I'm gonna try and do is plant, stagger my planting. So I'll plant some peas, leave it a couple of weeks, plant some more peas. So you've got a more sustained level. I think that's what proper gardeners do, but I'm learning. So I intention this year to grow veg and stuff, not just, for fun, as I've sort of done in the past, but to try and provide more food for the family here, to be a bit more environmentally conscious. And with that in mind, I've ordered online so I don't do like impulse buying of, of seeds and stuff. So I can go, okay, this is what I'll get, this I can plan things a bit better and work out what sort of space I've got and where I can grow things. How long's this worm, by the way? Look at him. What a big fella. Let's go through what we've got. Got seeds um, from Sutton Seeds. They seem to pop. You just see Mungo, don't know anything about them. I'll put a link down below to everything in this video so you can have a look if, if you want to. Um, and these are the things I've got. Well, first of all, biggest packet, peas. Peas are really easy to grow. Uh, if you've never grown peas, you just put them in the ground. Uh, they come as lit, like single, dry sort of pea little things. You can see a little picture there, I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, and you just put them in the ground and they're really, really easy. All you have to do is you need something for them to climb up really, otherwise they get a bit messy. So you can sort of put stick some canes up and put some string across it or you can get a little netting sort of thing that goes across it and, and they grow up that. But they're really easy to do. Kids quite like them because they can just pick them off and eat them. Um, I'm not in charge of peas in this house. Otto uh, likes growing them. Um, so that's what we've we've gone for this year. You can sow them from March. Uh, you get quite a lot in a bag. 330 seeds, that's a lot of pea plants, um, far more than we'll use. Uh, but they, again, these are things that grow, that are only good for like two or three weeks. They'll sort of, you'll get loads of peas and then no peas. So what I'm gonna do is, because the, the planting window, the sowing window is from March to May, or well, to the middle of June, I'm gonna try and plant a few peas every couple of weeks uh, in there so that we've got peas throughout the summer from like June to the start of October ideally rather than just having peas for a day. So that's the first thing. Otto's going to get planting those but we're not, we're not putting them in the ground till next month but we've got them ready. On to the others and this is something I'm excited by. I think one of the things with growing things there's no point in just growing the same onions you get from the shop because they take up quite a lot of room onions all you get is a tiny onion, you plant it, you get a big onion. It's not a very good rate of return. If you plant one potato, one seed potato, you get loads of potatoes. Um, so what I'm trying to do is grow varieties and things that you can't get as easily in the shops. And one of these things is Domedillo. So these are basically about, a bit like tomatoes, but this is a bit limey as well. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're Mexican, um, which is how international travellers like me say Mexican. Um, and use them in salsas a bit. You can eat them raw, I don't think. Uh, I don't imagine that'd be nice. Um, uh, and you can use them in sort of salsas, soupy things, lots of Mexican cooking things, but they're quite hard to get. I can't really get them in the supermarkets near here. You can probably get them if you live in London or somewhere trendy, or if you go to Waitrose probably, but not in, they're not in my local Lidl. Um, and, and you grow them like tomatoes. Apparently they're even easier to grow than tomatoes. Um, take 100 to 120 days to grow. You can plant them, sow in March and April inside in the warmth, plant them out uh, sort of May time, 
uh, after all the frost and all that's gone. Um, and then they'll be ready August, September, October type of thing. So I'm going to do that. Um, and that'll be my first ever tomatillo crop. So if you come round my house in like August, September, October, you should get some nice little Mexican dishes for that there. Tomatoes as well. I'm going to big in tomatoes this year because uh, I like tomatoes. Um, so, but you get a lot of plants for a tomato. If you pack a tomato seeds, this has got 20 seeds in it. And if most of those sort of germinate, you get quite a lot of plants, um, but they take up a bit of space tomato plants. So I bought, I bought a few things. In fact, I'll show you them now. So that's the tomato plants. This box right here, I believe contains my new tomato growing thing. I'm just going to stab at it a bit here. Hang on. Probably should have opened it first. So these are tomato halos. I've not used them before, but they seem to do well. They seem to be popular. What, how it works, this goes in the ground. This bit comes off. Uh, you take this bit off, the plastic thing. Um, and what happens is your tomato plant grows out the middle here. You put feed in this bit here, but you water it round the edge. So the water seeps through these little holes. If you can see the holes, little holes in the, in the, in the leg bits, it's in the ground that seeps through slowly. So you can fill it up with water and it will slowly drip feed them. Because I think one of the problems I get with tomatoes is if you don't water them enough, if they start to dry out, that's when the skins go all hard and horrible and break up. Uh, so you've got to keep them um, constantly supplied with that. And it keeps the feed from getting dil diluted. This bit comes off and you can use it if you're putting canes through to support them. You put canes through there and then through this bit there. So I'm going to try that. They fit into like grow bags or they'll fit into uh, pots if you want. So I'm going to buy a few grow bag, I think, things for my tomatoes uh, later in the year. And, and we'll do that. So yeah, that'll work for the tomatillos as well. Tomatillos, tillos. If anyone's Mexican or Spanish, let me know how I should be pronouncing that. Uh, I've gone for like cherry tomatoes here. I might get another pack of tomato seeds as well. I think those are the only ones I bought, but we'll see. But I've gone for a nice little super sweet cherry tomato type thing that um, you get lots from. Uh, so we should hopefully have millions, millions of tomatoes this summer in what's going to be a very salsa based meal time. Anyway, um, herbs. I get through a lot of herbs. Coriander's one I get through a lot, so I'm going to try growing that this year. A lot of herbs I've got in the garden that are sort of year-round things. I can see sort of some thyme over there, there's rosemary and sage uh, over there, but some of the more sort of, um, I don't know, delicate things uh, I need to get into growing this year. I get through a lot of coriander and a lot of parsley. So coriander, we're going to grow that. Uh, you can plant, sow it from April to June and you can harvest it from August to October. Um, but we'll see, I'll just plant it, see what happens. Same again, parsley. So it March to April and it, you harvest it in July to September and I'm always using parsley so I figure I'll just try and keep that going as long as, as possible because it gets through quite a lot of, of herbs. I always like to do something I've never done before each year and I'm going for Brussels sprouts. I know that can be controversial, not everyone's a fan of Brussels sprouts. Uh, I am, so I'm going to try and grow them. I quite like the thought of having some winter vegetables. Um, plant them in year one and they, they'll grow, you'll get them in October, November, December, but you'll also get them um, in year two. So they keep going. You can, I can plant that in a couple of weeks time. So we're going to start sowing those uh, pretty soon. You sow them inside first of all, and then you plant them outside. Carrots, I've gone for a special mega mix of carrots, not your boring carrots. Look at these, like a rainbow mix. The kids chose them obviously, because they're into all that type. Different, a few different varieties in there. But again, I'm picking things that not just the carrots you get from the shop, different different ones so you can get a bit more variety in your veg and stuff like that because you um, uh, get through quite a lot of carrots. You get, you get lots of carrots if you plant carrots, they're well worth doing if you want a bumper crop. Um, so we'll be doing that, we can plant those out from the middle of March and they'll be ready from the sort of late July hopefully. Uh, and the final thing I bought um, in seed form at the minute uh, is cucumbers. Uh, these I can sow inside now. Uh, so I'll probably uh, do that at some point in the next week. I think I might have tried cucumbers once and they went wrong. We'll see how this turns out. Again, I've gone for little baby ones. I don't know if you've seen the baby ones. You can get them in Lidl. They're tiny little things about this big. So they can, you can eat them in one go. So I think the kids will like them. Uh, hopefully we'll get a decent amount of them there. Prolific cropping it claims. So hopefully we'll get plenty of those. And happy days. And I think that's it for seeds that I've got. But this box, I'm just opening now for the first time. I hope 
This contains my seed potatoes for the year. Uh, obviously we're big into potatoes in this channel and there's gonna be a, um, a, an enhanced potato offering this year. Uh, last year's potato competition is gonna be judged in the next week or so uh, for the people that entered. I feel really guilty about that, by the way, because we went to so much effort. Um, but um, it's gonna be worth it and soon you will find out why um, we're doing it this way. Um, so this is a, the, I've got a few bags of seed potatoes here. So basically with these, you chip them first of all, you leave them out so little bits come out on the side. That's, you know, if you leave potatoes in the cupboard, you get little bits coming out the end. Uh, that's what we're gonna do with these. Um, but uh, once they've chitted, I'll plant them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant them in phases again. So I'm gonna have earlies, uh, second early's main crop, and then I'm also gonna buy, you can't get them yet because you have gotta wait for a few months. I'm gonna buy some that will go really late, so we should be able to have potatoes from the garden up until Christmas, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna carry on what I did last year, which is growing them in plastic buckets. I've actually bought a load more plastic buckets. So loads of potato growing this year. Why I'm growing so many potatoes will come very, become very clear in the next couple of weeks because I'm planning the greatest event uh, for you people, if anyone wants to come along to something that's gonna involve uh, potatoes on a grand scale uh, and me and viewers, if anyone is interested in that. So we'll, we'll have details on that uh, then. Uh, but yeah, potatoes, the plan is to have them going throughout the year. That's what I'm planning on growing this year. There might be a few other bits that I pick up here and there in a garden centre, but that's going to be the bulk of it. And I'm just going to have to work out whether or not I need another raised bed or something like that. Let us know in the comments down below uh, what you guys are um, growing. Thanks. So many people comment on the videos and hit that like button and share them and stuff like that. It's amazing. So thank you everyone who does because it helps with YouTube and that if, you, if you're commenting and interacting on things. I think it helps push the videos and let more people see them and all that. I'm going to try and as I say do, um, do regular garden things at the weekend because I think people seem to quite like them. So um, thank you for that. Uh, I'll put links to below to everything uh, we've had and back with a video on Tuesday which is uh, Blue Van Man and myself uh, answering questions that you guys have sent in which is going to be quite good fun I think. So yeah, thanks for watching and happy gardening. By the way, I should say a lot of you have been uh, asking about tiger worms and how they're getting on and I'm putting regular updates of the wormery on my Instagram so uh, again check that out if you want to see how it's going. We'll do a proper update on this channel a little bit later. Thank you.